In this video, we're going to show that the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x with respect to x diverges. Note that this is an improper integral because it has what's called an infinite discontinuity at 0, and 0 is one of the limits of integration. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. We'll start by writing down our integral. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x dx. And typically what you do when you have an infinite discontinuity at an endpoint in the interval is you replace it with a variable and you take the limit as that variable approaches the number. So we're going to be approaching 0. And we're approaching from the right. And that's because b is between 0 and 1, so it's bigger than 0, so it's approaching from the right. And then we have the integral. So instead of 0, we write the b, and then here's the 1, Then here we have 1 over x, dx. If it's not clear as to why we're approaching from the right, here's a little quick picture. Here's 0, and here's 1. And so b is between 0 and 1. Oh, look at that. b is approaching from the right. Very nice. This is equal to the limit as b approaches 0 from the right. And this is a popular integral, 1 over x dx. Uh, when you integrate that, when you integrate 1 over x with respect to x, you get the natural log of the absolute value of x. And we're going from b to 1. The rule says that you plug in the 1 first, so this is equal to the limit as b approaches 0 from the right. So plugging in the 1 first, we get the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus, and then here we get the natural log of the absolute value of b. What happens here is that the natural log of 1 is 0. And the natural log of b is going to approach negative infinity as b approaches 0 from the right. Let me explain that because that's really important to understand. So here's the y-axis and here's the x-axis. And the natural log of x has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And its graph looks roughly like this. So you see that as b approaches 0 from the right, the graph of y equals ln x, in other words, the y values, so ln x, approaches negative infinity. But because we already have a negative here, negative and negative is positive, so this is equal to infinity. So whenever you have an integral and it's equal to infinity, negative infinity, or does not exist, we say it diverges. So our integral diverges. If we had gotten a number, then we would say it converges. But the question was asking us to show that it diverges. Hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. Until next time, good luck and take care.